Hi, this is James Abraham with Warehouse-Lighting.com. What I'm going to show you how to do now is hook up one of our um, flat panels with a uh, emergency driver in it or emergency ballast or emergency uh, battery backup in it. Um, sometimes we have a lot of people that uh, are a little confused at how this, how this goes. And what I want to show you is uh, the basic wiring that's available for this. Um, I'm going to be wiring it to this switch. I know it's a dimmer switch, but we're actually just going to use this part of that dimmer. Um, this is dimmable, and it's a 0 to 10 dimming switch. Um, and the 0 to 10 leads are right here in that fixture. And you would just go by your positives and your negatives on the dimmer. So everything's marked here. The wiring diagram is actually here on the fixture. It becomes a little confusing for people. So what I'm going to show you how to do is... Um, first wire that um, that fixture all together and it says in the instructions it says to connect the battery first so this is actually this before wiring and as you'll see that's actually going to give us light so right now it's running off a of battery power um, I do have this unplugged so that when I'm wiring it that I, I don't get electrocuted or anything through the process if I slip up. These two leads you're not going to use. I actually have them just wagoed off right now. And uh, that's your purple and your uh, gray. Those are your, your dimming positive and your dimming negative that I was talking about earlier. If you'd like to hook those up you would just wire them directly into here or wire that lead that comes from your wall into those. Um, it does for a dimming, you know, require two extra wires. So what we're going to do now is I have this dimmer already kind of sub wired up. I have the red lead going into the uh, to the neutral, and then uh, or the positive, and uh, I have the uh, which is actually also going to hook to the black lead coming off the fixture. So now the white lead that's coming from your wall or your ceiling mount is actually going to go into the white lead. And I have them all hooked up with Wagos just so it's easier for me. Then your black coming off the switch is actually going to go to your switch leg wire. So now what happens is I've got my battery hooked up. I've got all my wiring, this is going to my switch, this is going to my white, and this wire, black wire, is going to the black and the red on the switch. So now, as you'll see, and this is actually the, the top to this, you'll see the light's still on, okay? Now I'm actually going to plug the power in on this. And the light is off. Now the light is on. And we're going to turn this over just so you can see it. I'm going to push that button again. The light is off. The light is on. And we're going to simulate a power failure by, I'm going to give you the, the side. And here's the test button for this. It says right now that that blinking light says it's charging. You now know this whole fixture is working. You see that blinking red light there? And I'm going to test it. Now you see it go through the test mode. Did you see it dim down? There it goes. Tested. Now we're going to simulate a power failure. Actually, we're going to test it without the power failure. Now you can see that now it's running on the battery. Now I simulated a power failure there. Now we're going to turn on the power. We're still going through the cycle. <clears throat> Oh, I'm going to 
cycle it on. Now the test is complete. You see how it dimmed down? This one's a little dirty, but um, that gives you an idea. If you have any questions, uh, please give us a call. Um, pretty easy to wire. We just have a lot of people that call in and say uh, that there's a problem with uh, the fixture when there really isn't. Um, but uh, let us know if you have any questions at all. Thanks for tuning in to warehouse-lighting.com's channel. If you would, please subscribe somewhere below or above or wherever it is. Um, we will come out with more informational videos like this one. And uh, we do appreciate you guys uh, ordering product from us. And we will try to give you the best customer service possible. Thanks and have a good day.